of the bookmakers. Bookmakers desperate to get Slate House out of the frame. But Colin Tizard has already struck. Bookmakers may be desperate to get Slate House out of the frame, Martin, but will they? Um, he's a horse that very much will divide opinion. His, his form has come in small field races. He's got to go and prove himself um, in the competitive handicap scenario that he finds himself in today. I think this race is short on progressive horses. There are quite a lot of exposed horses at the bigger prices that would be hard to fancy. And So from that point of view, you can understand why the untapped potential that he has and the lightly raced profile that he has is quite an attractive one. But we touched on pre-racing, the fact that that mark of 147, it's kind of... Bruce Forsyth, play your cards right a little bit higher or lower depending on the handicapper that you take. Where are you going? I'd go. I'd have gone lower. I think. I, I think Gara de Jouy last week at Wincanton. I know he didn't run his race at all, but he kind of bombed out completely. Never went a yard. Did he beat much? I'm not sure he did. I don't think any horse really up against him last time gave the running. Let's join Dave. Yes, yeah, Sam Boswell joins, joins me. Um, it's really bad, this late house, isn't it? It's, it's, Looking it's, at your phone, it doesn't look yeah, good. It's still going going lower and lower in price. Nine to two now with ourselves at the moment. It's the only one really being back to the front of the market. There's a few each way nibbles going through a little bit bigger. Springtown Lake, still nine to one. That was well back this morning as well. Uh, Happy Diva, 14 to one. Dave, I know you're a big fan. Yeah, yeah but it's a big, uh, big drifter from what I can see. But um, bookmakers might be... Um, Wishing the rain had staying away, it uh, kept on coming, but Nick is banging the paddock. Cheers, Navo. So, Martin, not too much time. Where would you like to concentrate? I mentioned earlier, Balami depicts on, I think, his, uh, his profile is an all or nothing one because he bled the last time we saw him. We've not seen him much over the last couple of years, but he certainly has the potential to be well handicapped. We will get a strong pace here, there's no doubt about that. Sira de Lac, heart on sleeve, jumped really yes. well out in front. Count Meribel lining up handy. Mercian Prince is another one who's always up there as well. Lizzie Kelly's only had a dozen rides since May, coming back off a broken arm. What a comeback ride it is. Sira de Lac, aboard whom she won the Altamira at the festival. A plate, I should say, at the festival. Yeah, exactly. Warthog as well, Springtown Lake. There are others you can see lining up towards the head of the furs. We've got uh, Guitar Pete in there, the grey horse at the back. He was third in this race last year. He is a little bit higher in the weights now. And he's won one of these. He won the December edition of this a couple of years ago as well. Eamon and Kernick was fourth in the plate. He looks as if he's going to get a waiting ride. His stable companion, Walked Hog, Springtown Lake, Mercian Prince, us and them, Count Maribel, all lining up as though they're going to have a go. Pass winner of the race, Splash of Gingers come for a bit of money at a prize. Yeah, and this strong pace that's likely could suit spirit of the game. Jonathan was keen on his chance earlier on. So they're about to come out then for the 2019 running of this Bet Victor Gold Cup. £160,000 for the feature this weekend to be called by Ian Bartlett. They race away then. They have 15 fences to jump and as they race on towards the first of those, Sira Dulac and Warthog amongst the first ones from Splash of Ginge and Count Meribel, Eamon and Kernock and Slate House for the last couple of runners over fence number one. Guitar Pete is not far behind the leaders and then comes Us and Them and Springtown Lake as they get to number two and Bellamida picked on problems there. We've lost one right at the back of the field as well. Ryder is just about to sit up and they run on towards number three and it is Eamon and Kernock, number 15, who went at uh, fence number two. Slightly, I think, interfered as well with Bellamida picked on in the yellow colours is a little way behind the others. They run round the bottom turn for the first time. Sira Dulac leading from Warthog in the orange in second. And then Mercy and Prince close up in third. The blue jacket, a splash of gingers next from a red cap of Count Meribel and the second of the Greys guitar Pete. Behind him is Spirit of the Games, the red and white checks of Springtown Lake towards the running rail. Braylon Dar is with him and then us and them, a red and blue jacket, a white cap. Towards the left is Demi Song, the best turned up winner, Highway 101 in white and red, just precedes him as they jump number four. Magic Saint is next and then Happy Diva towards the inner running rail in the yellow and purple jacket. The red and white of Slate House, still towards the rear, has just uh, Bellamida picked on, blue spots on yellow behind him as they take the fifth plane of fence, which they were all over safely, and Eamon and Turn up the loose horse, galloping wide of them as they run down to two more plane fences in the straight. Sira Dulac and Lizzie Kelly leading. David Noonan in orange on Warthog in second. 
and then Mercy and Prince Jack Quinlan in third guitar peak, one of the greys towards the uh, left splash of ginger and blue colours is with him as uh, there another one down is Highway 101 unseats the rider horse and rider are both okay so Highway 101 is out of the race they have a circuit remaining as they make their way towards uh, number 8 and Warthog has joined Cero du Lac in front Count Meribel, Mercy and Prince the splash of June, spirit of the games behind these from Happy Diva and Guitar Prince and Art and them and then comes Braylon Darfur and Demi Seng and Magic Seng and Springtown Lake and they're followed by Slate House who continues to be last but one uh, Bellamy to picked on in the yellow jacket the one behind him as they make their way now on towards another plain fence number nine coming up before the water jump which they take only once the orange of Warthog, the maroon and yellow of Cerro de Lac continue to be the leading pair. Count Meribel, Guitar Pete and Mercian Prince in behind them as they take this plain fence. They head to the water now. Splash of Gingers next and then Spirit of the Games, the green, red and white colours from Braylam, Dar and us and them and Magic Saint and Demi Song as they take the water jump. Behind those was Slade House, Springtown Lake in the red and white checks as lost places. He's with the yellow Colours of Bellamide are picked on at the rear as they come now to the first of the open ditches where Cyrodulac and Warthog continue to be the leaders. A terrible blunder from Springtown Lake at the rear of the field. I think he'll be pulled up. Five from the finish now as they run uphill and it's Warthog just the leader to in second position Splash of Ginge has been pulled up before taking that plain fence so Splash of Ginge and Springtown Lake are both out of it three from the finish the final one on the top of the hill now the last of the ditches and it's Warthog Cyril Dulac Count Meribel very close now to those in third position trying to take second Mercy and Prince is next followed through by Happy Diva she's jumping well in the yellow and purple has taken fourth Braylon Darn nose band it is next. Spirit of the Games is in company with him. Then Magic Saint and Slate House, who's beginning to get closer. It's a long run now before they leave the ground again. Us and them from Bellamida picked on and a weakening guitar Peter, of the next group of runners as the orange colours of Warthog heads down the side of the course and he skipped on by two lengths. But Happy Diva, Richard Patrick in yellow and purple is out after him. Cyril Dulac is still there. Count Meribal with a red cap. The nose band then of Bray Landar, Barry Geraghty against the running rail making significant progress and then Robbie Power on Slate House is getting closer, Spirit of the Games is next, Magic Saint is behind that and then comes Bellamy to Picton they're still running on towards the home turn Warthog has raced prominently the whole way through, he's about a two length leader, from Slate House in the red and white on the left, look at him coming there Bray Landar and also with those is Happy Diva and as they level to the second last there's four in line, Happy Happy Diva in the purple and yellow. Slate House fell at the second last. Braylon Dar is in the second. Warthog in third. Count Meribel is left in fourth. Happy Diva leads to Braylon Dar, but only just at the last obstacle. And now the noseband of Braylon Dar trying to get to Happy Diva, but she's fending him off. Richard Patrick in the yellow and purple, and Happy Diva still in front. Braylon Dar is trying hard in second place, but Happy Diva is still holding him. They race towards the line. Happy Diva, yes, she's done it. She won by a neck or so to Braylon Dar. Warthog is next, and running on for fourth position was Bellamy to picked on from Magic Saint and Count Mirabel. Well, poetic justice for Happy Diva, who becomes the first mayor to win this race since Lady Cricket in 2000 gives Kerry Lee her biggest success as a trainer Richard Patrick his biggest success in the saddle it might have been oh so different had Slate House stood up two from home there's a disconsolate Robbie Power walking back how well Slate House has run but Happy Diva was going nearly as well if not as well at the time and she'd been going very well when coming to Greece in this very race last year a rare blip on an otherwise oh so consistent record and she's really deserved a big one, and she's got one. Tremendously consistent and game, isn't she? And this was her seventh start in a handicap chase. She'd nearly won previously in handicap chases, but she hadn't, and yet, come the biggest day of all, this is her toughest handicap chase that she's been in yet. She goes and gets the job done, and she did beat last season in the listed Mers chase at Huntingdon, the subsequent Grand National runner-up Magic of Light, so she has some strong form to her name. It's a really game and gutsy performance, but you've got to feel for connections and supporters off Slate House because he was coming there tanking along and looked for all the world like he was going to go and win and win well. 
the runner-up Bray Landau has run a career best and by some way and no doubt about his his heart for the fight today no and also his stamina because that was definitely under question and he's, he's pressed the winner all the way to the line Kerry Lee that first season was full of high points but you know, I would I would still maintain this is her most high profile success yeah and this 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 may give her probably highlights in a very tough campaign last year she went through the doldrums really through the midwinter last year Kerry Lee but the horse is back fit back healthy and uh, yeah a really important win for that team